Hola, 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 buenos dias, good morning, beautiful planner babes, and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, La Planning Diva. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me here today. Super excited this video because it's finally time to get into my gorgeous, amazing, beautiful, not afraid to reference or not be referenced, stunning, amazing, fantastic, gorgeous, Tanya Garcia, Bright Travels, a big planner. Oh my goodness. This is the planner that I knew that I wanted um, from the big release that came out earlier this year. My boyfriend got this for me for my birthday. I love him so much. And it is a July start planner. So I'm so excited to get into here. I'm so excited to set up the cover page. Um, it's pretty neutral in terms of the year at a glance, um, pretty neutral, classic fonts, gray colors for this year at a glance. But what I love, oh, and then the monthly overviews are also pretty neutral as well. But what I love are the dividers. Look at this vacation vibes. Oh my goodness. Amazing, gorgeous. Just some nice polka dots up and down the spine, but nothing too crazy. And we get into this planner this week. Ah, oh my God. Oh my goodness. So I am going to be setting up my flagship planner for July through December 2024. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe that that planner is going to take me all the way to 2024, the end of 2024. And this is my current flagship planner. She's super, super thick. What I'm thinking is I'm going to take out the six months of January through June from this planner and I am going to put it into this planner that I have here because um, I think I can fit six more months in here. It's pretty thick, but I think on the expander discs, I could fit six more months in here. But this is actually my flagship planner, my journal from April of last year. I started working in a big planner and also keeping my planner April 21st of 2023. No, 2022. Yes, 2022. And yeah, I've been keeping these pages since then and I am retiring this planner with this cover and these discs. I'm gonna keep this planner forever, just how it is right now. So I'm thinking of sticking in the um, the months of the year that I have been working on. So I'm going to be pulling a lot of things off of these discs. Let's start pulling this off. Well, actually, let me go through the flip through of my entire flagship planner because I do like doing flip throughs um, before I, you know, take a planner apart completely. So let's go through the planner. I love these flip throughs. So this is going to be a flip through of my flagship planner from January of this year to the end of June this year. Right now I'm using this amazing Tigger Happy Planner cover. And then my cover page, my Winnie the Pooh cover page. I love this thing. Because this one is new, I haven't decorated the year at a glance. But I have been decorating the year at a glance um, with fun stickers since the beginning. My great habit tracker, which I haven't really been into lately. Oh, I'm supposed to be low carbs this month. Okay, I'm going to get into this. Low carbs this month. I love decorating my year at a glances. It's fun to just kind of put your own little fun creative spin on them. Oh, year at a glance again. Oh, okay, okay. So this is the 2023 year at a glance. And then this one back here is the 2022 year at a glance. Yes. Because this is when I graduated. Yep. Okay. Um, I actually have room here to decorate some things. So I'm going to go ahead and do that at some point. I'll probably decorate this side and then um, I probably won't use these pages because I'll be switching into the Tanya Garcia Bright Travels Planner. Okay, so I have me and my boyfriend. I've been working on these little photo inserts. Uh, this one's of my pugs. This one's of my family. Adventure is Calling a folder with some goodies in here. My sticky note dashboard. My coloring page, um, which I have not been working on at all, but I'm going to get into this. 
And this is a divider that I made that separates the actual planner pages. So I started off the year with the Disney seasonal planner, which was a lot of fun. I love how the January monthly came out. Gorgeous. This is when I first started making my own little stickers. Um, I went on a road trip to Sedona and the Grand Canyon this week. And then this is the week I got COVID. And so I was really out of it and um, I used farmhouse for this spread this was my honey lemon spread made in honor of the honey lemon tea that really helped me through covid this one is amazing I love this one this one is cafecito designs so so cute and then this is colorful dogs except I tucked in um, this scrapbooking page. I also have my habit tracker in here as well. I do really want to get back into these. I finally journaled here. <laughs> this page is blank for a very long time and then I finally just wrote down a few sentences here and it really wasn't that bad. I'm so bad at procrastinating things that I think are going to take me a while and then when I actually do them it really takes me like three minutes. It took me three minutes to write a few little sentences, add a little sticker here, and then we were good. But we hiked to the top of Cuyamaca Peak in January with Stephen and my best friend, Ethan. That was a lot of fun. And then we stopped by and got a Julian pie. Amazing. And then this was, ooh, the February overview. I made a little Valentine's Day card for my pugs, which are my Valentines. I love them so much. And we have February, super cute divider here. The monthly came out very cute as well. I really like this one. And one of the main reasons I want to take out these months and put them in storage is because I use a lot of 3D stickers, a lot of puffy stickers. And after a while, they do accumulate and um, it's hard to write on the pages later on. And then we have the first week in February, which I use sophisticated florals very beautiful. I just wanted something kind of simple and plain. This one's super cute. This is a horizontal um, layout. Very, very cute. I love the sticker book. This is one of the sticker books I'm trying to finish. This one was Valentine's Day week and I went complete Valentine's Day extravaganza here. Really, really love this one. And then this one was another take on Valentine's Day. This one was my like sweet things and desserts spread. I added this sticker like months after I made this spread. Life is sweet, super, super cute. And then my February habit tracker. I really want to get back into these. And then we have some scrapbooking pages. This is from our Road trip in late March to Arizona, Sedona, the Grand Canyon, Zion Canyon. Love, love, love how these pages turned out. I had a lot of fun making these. Um, this should be on my channel, how I set these pages up. But then we have March. And then for March, the March monthly, I used the Simply Gilded, Simply Charms, Lucky Charms collection, as well as some spring stickers from the Happy Planner. I loved how this turned out. And then we have pressed florals. Um, I really, really like this one because I added these sparkly cactus stickers everywhere. And it was perfect because this is when we went to Anza Borrego Desert um, State Park here in San Diego to check out the Desert Super Bloom, which is fantastic. And then this spread was Mickey and Minnie Farmhouse, super, super cute. And then this is St. Patrick's Day. I use the Simply Gilded, um, Simply Charmed collection. I love this thing so much. And actually, um, this is when I was still using this planner as what I called my home life planner. Um, I did a lot of household stuff in here, a lot of household to do's. Nowadays, I just use this exclusively as a journal and I do use the monthly to plan out my month in terms of like appointments and like social life situation things because I do use this as a journal and so I like keeping track of things that are happening like that and so I do use it as a planner mostly the monthly um but in the weekly I use it more as a journal this was the first week of spring so I used um the spring seasonal sticker book from the happy planner 
This is when we went on our road trip to Arizona. So I used all these amazing cactus stickers. Love how this one turned out. And on the back here, this was my sticker collage. I picked up a bunch of stickers on our road trip. And so I just put them all here. And then we have April. I wasn't a huge fan of the April um, cover from the seasonal Mickey and Minnie planner. So I went ahead and used this one, which was from a seasonal vertical planner from the Michaels exclusive planner, which had like, like the garden design, the, the cartoon garden in the front, very cute planner. And the monthly, I went with Winnie the Pooh because I wanted to celebrate that we had finally a Winnie the Pooh sticker book. Super, super cute. I love these puffy Pooh stickers. They're very cute. This is when I went to Seattle for the entomology conference and I still have not written down what happened this week. Let me freaking do it right now. <laughs> actually, I think I'm just going to leave this blank because I actually don't even remember what happened the rest of this week. Oh, well, it happens. It happens. And then this week is um, coming back from the conference, kind of settling back into the routine. Honestly, wasn't really super happy with this spread. I left a lot of things blank. Um, it was busy. There wasn't much going on, but this is a spread where I used um, the horizontal layout sticker book as well as a bunch of bandeau stickers. Oh, and this is also Stephen's birthday week, and so we went camping out in the desert state park, so I have a little camping sticker there. And then, ooh, this is Winnie the Pooh sticker book. Love how this one turned out. I also used teeny florals in combination with this Winnie the Pooh sticker book. Loved how this one turned out. This is my birthday week. Me and Steven are two weeks apart. And this is the all the stickers I got from Rachel, the lovely Rachel. She gave me a huge pack of stickers. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Once again, Rachel, every time I see this spread, it makes me so happy. It's such a huge like birthday celebration, classic birthday celebration. Love it so much. Um, very happy with that. And then this is actually something I did recently. I hadn't had I hadn't done anything with the overview page and so I decided to use it as like a little dumping ground of some of my favorite things that happened in April. Um, we went on our desert lab retreat to the Mojave Desert and this is a picture of me at the top of a hike. Um, someone had dragged up a, a huge wooden chair to the top of this super steep hike looking out over the the dunes and the dry lake bed and it was a lot of fun, had a lot of fun in that lab retreat. We saw a horned lizard, so that was super exciting. Also went camping with Angela out to the desert later on, um, stopped by the Julian Pie Company, had some pies. Um, yeah, it was a great, great month um, for desert adventures. And then for May, we're back into the Disney Seasonal Planner, and I went with Disney Seasonal stickers for the monthly, and I think it turned out so cute. This is probably my least favorite spread that I did <laughs> this month. This was Disney seasonal, but I just didn't really like how I did it. Um, it just seems kind of chaotic and not very well thought out, but it happens. And then here is Modern Farmhouse. I love this one so much. Love the farmhouse sticker books. Happy with that one. Love this one. This one is um, Homebody. Love this one so much. I also used some flowers from um, Seasons of Color sticker book. And then this is Squad Girls, the old Squad Girls. Um, this is when Squad Girls came out. And so I was really feeling the need to use Squad Girls. So I went into my collection, pulled out this book here. And then this is really, really fun. I just put this together um, a few weeks back before I left for the conference. These are pages that I put together for our little weekend at the San Diego County Fair. It was so much fun. Me and my family go every year. It's a, it's a tradition with us. We go all day to the fair. We get stuffed. We ride some rides. We have tons of fun. And every year, um, the San Diego County Fair has a theme that the, you know, base their exhibits off of. Um, and this year it was Get Out There, which was so much fun. It was all about camping and state parks and nature, and it was just perfect for me. And so I took a lot of pictures. 
Um, I found this amazing sticker pack at Joann's for like fairs and carnivals. And so I had a lot of fun using those stickers. I also printed out the San Diego County Fair logo onto sticker paper and then used my Cricut to cut it. So that was so much fun. This was us on the Ferris wheel, the view from the Ferris wheel. It's right next to the ocean. So you can see the ocean when you're at the very top of the Ferris wheel. Um, and then us on the bumper carts. And of course we had to eat like a bunch of sketchy things like pickle pizza. I was excited for this, but it wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. And then we move into June and actually this divider is from Paula and Waffle and I moved into a dashboard for June just for fun to see how that would turn out. And this is the monthly. Of course, that'd be summer themed. So we have a lot of, you know, fruit vendor washi tape, um, popsicle washi tape. It is Pride Month. So I wanted to use um, lots of bright colors, lots of rainbows and Conference Revolution last week in June, which really was so, so busy. And then the first week in June, this one was a lot of fun. I used some of these large Mambi sticks, the crafting ones, and then um, this beautiful sticker from Ipso Fatso and a bunch of just colorful, fun, floral and crafty stickers. And then this was the second week in June. This was my pride spread. Lots of beautiful rainbows. This was such a busy week, hanging out with Rachel, went to a friend's birthday party, went to the San Diego County Fair with my family. And then look at this, nothing for this week in June. Ah, I have all my stuff here. Nothing for this week in June. This is the week we went to Evolution, so I don't blame myself. And then nothing this, this week of June, which is when, which is the week I came back from Evolution. And also this is the week when, when, where we move into our new planners. So technically today is Sunday, so I could, you know, set this up and I probably will, honestly, I probably will, like, I will use this week and the first week in my new planner um, just to, you know, fill the pages up, add stickers. And then at the end here, we have my daily pages and I just have one daily page in here. I haven't really been using the big size daily pages. Um, and then what do I have here? I have this cover page, which I just tucked in here. I don't know why I have that more daily pages, more daily pages. And then, oh, I also have some big pages. These um, Amy sent to me. Thank you, Amy. She sent me these big pages from her Bold and Bright, I think it's called, planner. Um, these are monthly pages. I've never had a monthly, um, I've never had a big monthly. So these are really, really interesting. And I tucked them in here in case I wanted to try them out at some point. I'm very interested in these like dashboard pages for the monthly, thinking of potentially using these for something. Not sure exactly what, but I tucked them in here in case I wanted to pull for them. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pull everything off of these discs. I'm going to store what I need to store in my little like, storage um, planner here. And then I'm going to set up the Tanya Garcia. And then when it's done and set up, I'm going to come back for a flip through of how the new planner is set up. Um, it's going to be a whole process because I'm also thinking of taking all of these pages off these discs and putting them on these expander discs. I'm going to be using lilac and magenta expander discs, like alternating lilac and magenta expander discs um, for the discs. I always liked using really bright and fun colors for the summer um, in terms of discs, so I thought it would be fun to pull for these. So I'm just going to flip the page and show you the planner and cut out like half an hour of footage. Watch. All right, let's go. Whew, okay, we are finally done. Oh my goodness, that took forever. But I transferred all of the filled up months to this gigantic uh, 
planner now. This thing is massive. Do you see how massive this thing is? This is from April 2022 to June 2023. So almost a so more than a full year's worth of planning pages. Definitely going to keep this and I'm going to retire these discs and this planner cover with this collection, I guess I should call it. Um, and this is the new flagship planner I am moving into. Oh my goodness, took me forever to set it up, but she is now complete. Okay, so I have the Tanya Garcia front and cover on these gorgeous lavender and hot pink metallic um, expander discs. We have the cover page here. I'm going to set this up at some point. The year at a glance. I'll probably add stickers and decorate these pages at some point as well. And then we have the year at a glance starting fresh from July through December. I have a bookmark here so that I can flip to this section whenever I need it. So we have the year at a glance. And then I did some rearranging of things. I, oops, I need to stick these down here. Because this page here, the one with the photos of me and my boyfriend, um, was glued to the back of one of the year at a glance pages. Um, and I didn't want to keep the year at a glance page for this new planner. I went ahead and used undo to unglue those two pages together. And then I added this um, just regular journaling page here. Um, this is from one of those scrapbooking packets that the happy planner came out with at some point um here i have it right here i got it at joanne's when it was on clearance but it's a nice pack of journaling pages i wish happy planner would come out with more of those because i do really enjoy those um so anyways i just glued this to the front of this page here and then because i used undo my photos are really kind of un not sticking very well. I did the same thing with this page here because I have my great habit tracker, which I haven't been using as much as I want to, but um, I'm going to try to get back into it. But I went ahead and glued another page on top of that here. So then um, I'll figure out what I want to do with these two journaling pages. They're empty for now. And I just realized that this bookmark right here goes with my habit tr tracker right here. Like so. There we go. And then I have my photo collages of my pugs. I love these. And then I have one of my family. I need to fill these out. And then we just have this beautiful divider separating um, the year at a glance stuff from a couple of other things. I have my coloring pages here, which I really want to get into. Maybe I'll color a little bit this weekend. My folder, my sticky note dashboard. I love this thing. And then we get into the Tanya Garcia planner. So we have July vacation vibes. I love this design so much. I love her artwork. Oh, it's so pretty. And then we have the monthly, which I will decorate this maybe this week. My little bookmark here. Love this bookmark. I'm keeping all the same bookmarks I've been using for my other flagship planner. And then we get into the weekly. They're very, very neutral. I love that. I enjoy that for my flagship planner because I do like being very decorative here. So I would like things to be a little bit more neutral so that I can really, you know, make the pages my own. Of course, I'm using this beautiful bookmark that Rachel gifted me. Never going to change this thing. And then I'm keeping my little evening planner routine, half page, my little sticker storage pocket here where I keep some of my cute smaller stickers, my little weekly schedule sheet that I like using to help me kind of figure out when I'm, you know, setting up different planners and such. And then that is it for this month. Again, the pages are super, super neutral. They're very pretty. I'm glad that we changed this section right here from the little circle to this just plain note section. I like that. Although honestly, I'll probably cover it up either way. I love how simple the little dots are up and down the spine. Love that. And then we have August. 
I'll just do a quick little flip through of all of the months here. September, travel the world, little trolley there. October, and give me good company and the open road. November, this is my least favorite divider, I think. Because <laughs> you all know how I feel about blue. And then December, love this one with the stamps. January, this one's my favorite because it's road tripping, desert vibes, love that. February, this one's cute. March, this is probably my second favorite one with the Japanese landscape, Mount Fuji in the background. This one's cute, it says be kind. Um, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of these dividers with the fonts. I feel like the the strength of her art really lies in the landscape and the scenes and ah, i'm not a huge fan of these i do like the one that is this one i like this one because it's foiled it's colorful this one is not foiled um and i don't like it as much this one's cute oh this one's my favorite this is my favorite style of her artwork where it's like this beautiful full scene and if it has foil then it's so much better this is the inside cover design. I'm not a huge fan of this like abstract, whimsical pattern, but it's fine. September, cute, looks like an Italian urban scape. October, this is my least favorite of the text ones. It is foiled, but it's not very colorful, so I'm not a huge fan. Honestly, I'm also not a huge fan of this one. I don't think it really screams Tanya Garcia to me. It kind of feels out of place amongst all of the other dividers. Um, maybe when I get to a divider which I don't like that much, I will maybe switch it out. I like this one. This one's fun with the girls. And this is the last month here. And then we move into my daily sheets. I took off little tabs at the top because I was getting a little bit tired of them. I think... I didn't like them as much as I thought I would, so I got rid of them. Um, but these are my daily sheets, and I kind of took out like half of the daily sheets I had because I don't use them that much in my flagship planner, so I just pulled out half of them. And then lastly, I have a folder with some stickers in here in case I ever just want to bring my, um, my flagship planner without any... Um, sticker books or anything although honestly let's be honest i will always bring at least a few sticker books when i'm bringing my flagship planner with me i like putting in just like random bunches of stickers into the back here um so that way i can remember to use them so that is my entire flagship planner setup i love it i love it so much oh my goodness i'm going to be settling into this planner this weekend um, I think the next video you might see from me is maybe the July monthly setup and then the first week in this planner setup. I know exactly what I'm going to use. I'm definitely going to be using the Tanya Garcia Brights Travel sticker book, the one that kind of accompanies this planner. I've been hoarding that, holding on to that sticker book. Um, I haven't been, I haven't used it at all because I've been waiting for getting into this planner i really wanted to like celebrate the tanya garcia planner with the tanya garcia sticker book so i think i'm going to be using those that sticker book for both the monthly and the first weekly but yeah that is it and with that i'm gonna sign off thank you again for spending so much time with me here today i really appreciate it let me know what planners you're moving into for the july start and i hope you're having a wonderful time in your planners having fun trying out new things and being creative hope to see you in my next video so until then stay safe stay blessed and happy planning adios